So right now they are having a great deal on used solar panels. They're buy one, get one free. Um, and I'll put the link in the description. I've bought all three of their used solar panels and their, um, uh, the panels are blemished and you got copper bus bars which is um, like right here. This would be considered copper bus bars. That's where water intrusion got in, but you still get really good output on them. You have a blemish where there's like a, a crack on the back of the white um, part of the solar panel. And then they'll have snail trails where like right here, there's a trail there. And let's see over here, there's some trails right here. I like the snail trails the best. I mean, they'll get a little water intrusion eventually, but you know, uh, right now they have the snail trails that I usually buy. If you have a wide open area where there's no shading all day long, these are great. They'll cost you 20 bucks a piece. They're 40 bucks. You buy one, get one free. So they end up being 20 bucks a piece. And um, you could put 20 of these things on a array 10 in series, 10 in series, and there'd be 2,500 watts on each one of those in series. Parallel those together, you can take them into one EG4 three kilowatt off-grid inverter. And for 20 of those, it'd cost you um, 20, 10 would be, uh, uh, what, 400, 200, it'd be 400 bucks for 20 of those. So, you know, they basically come out to 20 bucks a piece. So 20 times whatever amount of solar panels you're going to buy, even numbered. And um, that's a really good deal for 400 bucks to be able to supply one EG4 three kilowatt off-grid inverter. You can put 5,200 watts in max to get 3,000 watt pure sine wave output. Put two of those EG4s together and you got split phase 120, 240, and you can run an air conditioner. I run my three and a half ton and my four ton air conditioner with those EG4 three kilowatts. Um, I have six of those in, ser or in parallel, but two of them would start both my three and a half ton and four ton. The problem is with only two, I'm exceeding the 6,000 watt output. So I need to go to four. You got to go in pairs of two when you're doing... Um, uh, split phase. So anyways, I'll put a link in the description where you can get a hold of these used solar panels. Now they do come with a one year warranty, but you know, you're going to find out in a year whether they're going to, um, last or not. So I bought, these are five years old. And when I bought these, they were about five to 10 years old. So these could be close to 10 years, 15 years old. And, um, they're still giving me uh 5,000 watt input is still being up to 15 years old has given me 3,000 watt output. So really good deal on those. Just remember, they only give you one year warranty. As where when you buy like new solar panels like this, the bifacials or monos or even polys new, they're going to give you 10 to 25 year warranty on them. So uh, those are used, but those are mono. Right now, I don't think they have any mono ones. They have, they might have some, not sure if they have their new um, branded, and it's their brand on these. I'm not sure if they have the new ones where they're buy one, get one free, but you can check that out. It's a sale going on for a couple of days. I don't know. It, um, it'll it have the, uh, when you go to the website, it'll have how long it is before. So if you live locally here in Arizona, you can go pick these things up. If you don't, they have pretty good freight rates. So pretty much it just want to let you know they got some uh, good sales buy one get one free on used solar panels and uh check it out it uh please like share subscribe hit that notification bell and if you have any products that um would be a good fit for me and you would like me to test them out for you you can contact me at diysolarguy1 at gmail.com and I'd love to collaborate with uh, people for off-grid solar stuff to see how well it works. Right now, 
we're able to run our four ton downstairs, our three ton upstairs at the same time and run a 12,000 BTU mini split and an 18,000 BTU mini split in the garage um, all at the same time on our off-grid solar. And in the wintertime, that 12.7 ton pool heater down there, we can run that to keep our pool at 86 to 89 degrees in the wintertime <laughs> when most pools out here are in the high 30s, low 40s. So, <laughs> And we run our pool pump 24 hours a day. We also run fridges, freezers. We've got mini splits that we run. Uh, we can run two mini splits downstairs, 12, two 12,000 BTU mini splits downstairs instead of the um, four-ton 4,800 BTU or 48,000 BTU. Um, we can run those two mini splits, and it's half the amount of watts that we use. And we can pretty much keep it at 70, uh, around 74 to 78 degrees, depending on the temperature outside. So... Have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day, and I'll have all the information and links in the description.